Hey guys, my name is Brendan Keating, also known as Iron Leonim. You can catch me on www.twitch.tv slash Iron Leonim. Hope to see you guys there. Uh, Iron underscore Leonim, I should say. Alright, so today the uh, purpose of this video is to show you how to install both the uh, Twitch client as well as FTB Infinity Evolved. Now that's the mod pack I use for my uh, multiplayer server. This is specifically so that people can uh, get the game installed with no real problems. Now, uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to mods.curse.com slash client. Uh, again, that's mods.curse.com slash client. A link is going to be provided in the description down below. So you want to go ahead and click download the Twitch desktop app and go through the brief installation. The installation should be very, very self-explanatory. Uh, then, when you load it up and sign in, you're going to get something that looks like this. Uh, if you're already on Twitch, you're going to have your follow channel show up here. Recent people you've talked to and played with here. Uh, and there's a couple of different tabs. You can browse for different Twitch uh, streams to play. Uh, you can also go to the games you've installed through Twitch. But what we want is mods. So go ahead and click on mods. Now, you should already have Minecraft installed on your computer. It'll appear as one of the options amongst the many that you can choose to uh, install games on. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on Minecraft. Now, I already have this installed. But let's say for a second I didn't. You want to look for Browse FTB Mod Packs, okay? Now, FTB Mod Packs are the uh, officially sanctioned mod packs of Feed the Beast. And Feed the Beast is what the Twitch client used to be. Now, you want to scroll down until you find FTB Infinity Evolved. There's also FTB Infinity Lite. That is not the one we're playing, and you will not be able to connect to the server. So, uh, it will appear with an install button, just like on FTB Prevent Sky Factory 3. For me, it says play, just because I already have it installed. So, click on installed, and then it's going to take you back to this page right here. Uh, it'll appear as its own little selectable box. Now, this is a fresh Minecraft install that won't get in the way of your vanilla experience, which is really cool. Once it's fully installed, and that will take just a little bit because it is a big mod pack, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and click play. And that's going to bring up the new Minecraft launcher, okay? Now, what it's probably going to look like first is download 1.12.1 latest release. That's not what you want. You want to click this arrow beside and click FTB Infinity Evolved Forge 10.13.4.16.14. That release number may change a little bit, but uh, there you go. All right, so once you click play, uh, the actual Minecraft uh, loader screen will pop up. After just a moment, here we go. Okay. Now, I'm not going to go through this whole process just because it does take a little while. But basically, from here, it's going to have its own custom splash screen. And then you're going to click multiplayer and add in the server details. Uh, so for my server, I know it's uh, subscribers only or you need a certain amount of our loyalty currency to buy access. Uh, but once you do have access to the IP... Uh, you'll be able to input it into the multiplayer servers and be able to join us that way. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful, uh, and I hope to see you on the server soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, and again, check out my channel down below.